Hi, the Sultan of Silver here with you. Let's have some fun with a thousand power microscope. When I was in private practice at the salon and not working for a corporate chain, I used to have my laptop and a thousand power microscope where I would look at the condition of people's skin at the microscopic level, condition of their scalp, the condition of their faces, and then I would treat accordingly as far as conditioning is concerned and, and that type of thing. And I want to show people close up what their skin and hair look like. One of the things I want to do today is I want to show you what uh, white hair looks like at a thousand X. It's interesting and it's a lot different than what you think it might be. The other thing I want to do is I want to take all my scissors and cut a piece of hair and take a look at the cut and then I also want to take a pair of electric clippers and this improved masters which is the best of the best professionally speaking and what I use to trim people's beards and I want to cut a hair and take a look at the cut of scissors versus clippers and I know there's always that little thing going back and forth people want a scissor trim and I'm not a scissor trim kind of guy I'm a clipper trim kind of guy when it comes to a beard and I think it comes down to personal preference, but let's look at things through a microscope. I think it'll be fine. Now what I did was I took some beard hairs out of a brush and I taped them in a line and I labeled each hair on a piece of blue tape. And you'll see it right along here. There's six hairs. And I'm going to cut six hairs with six different things. The first thing I'm going to do is, what do I have there, is a pair of Walmart. These are my humble first pair. They go back a bazillion years. These are from Walmart. Just cheap hair cutting shears that you can get. I think they cost me $12. So I'm going to cut a hair with them and then we're going to microscopically look at the cut. The second one I'm going to do is the Hanzo Hattori shears. These are $600 right here. These are $600. They're beautiful. They cut like butter. I love them. Five and a half inches. They're one of my favorites. They just, they don't make any noise. Oh, there's a hair on them. So we're going to use those. We're also going to use the, this is an old pair of Fromm swivel shears. These were about $300 and they swivel, you know, they call them swivel shears because it has this little thing that swivels and it moves so I can cut at various angles. If I'm cutting ladies hair and I'm pulling a fringe down and I want to get in there like that, you can see what this does. See how it swivels? So I'm not like making my wrist go in weird angles. So it, it kind of follows me. We're going to use those. We're also going to use these Mizutanis. These are six and a half inch Mizutanis. Those in the hair industry know these names. And these are, I believe these were like $225. So they're not super expensive. The most expensive ones I'm using are $600. What else was I going to use? Um, oh, the Andis Improved Masters. You've seen these in every barber shop. This is the standard. When my father was in barber school, he had a pair like this uh, that he still uses today. To this day, he still uses these, and they're incredible. It's a tried and true, most widely used clipper of all time right up there with the Oster 76s. So let's see, we have Walmart, Hanzo, from Mizutani, and then I'm gonna use, um, my thinning shears. These are, uh, the 4420s. I think that's what they call them, right? The 4420s taper fine, and I'm going to cut a hair with them. This is every old school barber probably has a, and stylist has a pair of these somehow. And God, these things are just classics. Let me get a close up. You can see that. And 
at the top of every one of those teeth is like a little V-notch that catches the hair, selectively catches hair. So we're going to try that. And then we're going to go through, uh, I'm going to look at a couple things. I'm going to look at a, a new penny. Uh, and then I'm going to look at a, a, it's a 2016 penny. And I'm going to look at a penny from, what's the date on that one? 1974 and we're just going to see what they look like and then I'm going to show you um, what a razor blade this is a perma sharp and I'm going to show you what this looks like up close as well and just I've never looked at a blade like this up close so we're going to do that at a thousand power should be fun Okay, this right here is the Walmart shears at 1000x. I don't know if you can see that. I want to make sure the resolution stays okay. Now, it's on a, a powder-coated, the black um, thing that, that it's laying on is the, a music stand. So it's a powder-coated, painted black music stand. So that, and you can see it's kind of flared out at the end, so it looks like before it cuts it, it squishes it a little bit. It's not the cleanest cut, it kind of flares out. If you can see that right there, that's a close-up. Now I wish I had a 5000X microscope. Those are the $12 Walmart shears. Now these are the $600 Hanzo Hattori shears. Very clean. There really is a difference. Do not kid yourself. I don't know when it levels out. I've never had more than a $600 pair in my hand, but that is amazing. It's a very clean cut and not flared at the end. Now these are the $250 from F-R-O-M-M. -M. I don't know if you can see that. Not a bad cut. The little rough stuff on the one side is uh, balm, beard balm. But the cut looks fairly clean, slightly flared out at the very end. This right here is the 4420 blending shears. You can hardly see it, but I can see almost it's a cross section you can almost see it cut it at an angle I don't know if you can catch that I'm just trying to adjust this camera properly now this one right here is from the Andis improved master electric clippers it looks and they go at about 14,000 RPMs. It looks like it bent the hair shaft a little bit before it cut it. Hmm. Interesting, huh? So put like a little, I don't want to say a fish hook on the end of it, but like a little tiny bit of a hook. Interesting, right? It actually uh, changed the structure of the hair. Interesting. This one right here, this is a hair cut with a feather razor blade. Look at that, man. Smooth. I love feather razors. My gosh. Interesting, right? Perfect. That's absolutely perfect. Cut with a feather razor. Razor blade. Now, if I was going to be fair, I would do all of the scissor companies, but... I don't own all the scissors. If they want to send them to me, then we can do a side-by-side -side test. So from what I saw so far, my Hanzo Hattori and my Mizutani shears are the best that I own. Uh, I have about 12 different shears, many of them much cheaper. The clipper, it was interesting. The clipper blades are just basically blades that are on top of one another, just going like this. And it seems like that they bend the hair a little bit. Now, maybe it's just mine. They need to be sharpened or I need new 
new blades, but they bend the hair a little bit before they shear it. So that's kind of an interesting observation. Let's look at some other things under the microscope. This ought to be fun. There's a 2016 penny. There's Lincoln's face from a 1974 penny. Looks pretty much the same. I guess I'd have to put them side by side to see if the image has changed at all. This is a PermaSharp half of a double edge razor. How funny is that? It almost looks kind of rough, doesn't it? Interesting. That's a brand new blade. This is a Persona blade. You can see the sharpening, the honing, or whatever the machine was to make that blade. Kind of interesting. You didn't see any lines on the other one. This is for like the hair shapers that many stylists use. Back it up a little bit. That's interesting. Now this right here is a feather blade. I like how they take the corners off the blade. It's my favorite blade to shave people with. But what's interesting is this. There is one sharpening and then a second sharpening right at the very end. I never noticed this until I looked at it microscopically where it's beveled. There's like one sharpening, like a major one, and then a super fine one. That's interesting. No wonder they are my favorite blade. That right there is a filament to a broken light bulb that I had, and I just thought that would be interesting. So it's a coil made into a coil. I wasn't aware of that. Interesting, right? This is a close-up of my thinning shears. Each tooth on the thinning shears has a V-notch cut into it that selectively grabs hair. Pretty cool, huh? This is a traditional straight razor, the kind that your grandfather might have used. That's the edge right there. Considered a hollow blade, 440 carbon steel. That looks nice and, nice and straight. That right there is a shaving brush. A badger hair shaving brush, and you can see the difference in the hairs. They get lighter towards the end. And this right here, this right hair, <laughs> this right here is my beard. Look at that. White hair. It looks clear. You can see through. It looks like icicles with a white core. That's my beard hair. How fascinating is that? You can see where the pigment is actually gone. Well, I hope that you found that interesting. I know I did. I like looking at things through magnifying glasses and microscopes. I'm very tempted to look for a very, very powerful microscope somewhere on Craigslist, maybe, to continue my peek into the unseen microscopic world. It was a lot of fun. Thanks for watching.